Hi, my name is Christopher Smith, and I'm a products liability attorney in Nashville, Tennessee, with DRS Law. Today we're going to talk about the Paragard IUD litigation. This is a March 2023 update. We have previously done a video that I'll link to in, I think it was June of 2021, so almost two years ago. And in that video, we broke down the criteria for Paragard IUD cases. And basically, if you don't know what Paragard is, it's an IUD, which means an intrauterine device, contraceptive device, and it's T-shaped. And what happens is when it is removed, it can break and get dislodged and cause all sorts of complications, including uh, infertility and the necessity of hysterectomies and things like that. So it can be uh, a pretty devastating injury. So that previous video is still good in terms of the information it provides, but in this video I wanted to talk about kind of what's new and where the case is heading. So there has been a scheduling order entered, and I'm making this video, as I say, March of 2023. A mediator has been selected, and a mediator is basically someone who's going to help the court resolve the case, uh, help the parties resolve the case, sort of like a judge but not. Uh, just a third party neutral who helps uh, the sides reach a settlement if possible. That is Gino Brogdon, who's a retired lawyer from the Atlanta area. These cases have been consolidated in the Northern District of Georgia. So uh, an Atlanta area mediator makes sense. By the way, just an aside for any NBA fans, Gino Brogdon's son is a NBA point guard, Malcolm Brogdon, who as of the time of this video, plays for the Boston Celtics. That may not be true by the time you watch it. But Now, there's something called a bellwether trial, which is very common in these MDLs. The bellwether term comes from farming, actually. it's Farmers used to put bells on their sheep so they would know, you know where they are, what direction they're heading, so to speak. So in these MDLs, it's common to select several cases for bellwether trials to kind of get a range of what the jury might value these cases as or how they might value these cases so that for purposes of reaching a global settlement, the parties have a sort of range of the financial outcomes to work with. So those bellwether cases are in what's called the discovery phase right now. That discovery phase will end in July. I want to say July 28th, but that may not be totally correct. We'll make sure to put on the screen the exact date. But in any event, coming up here midway through 2023, we will have uh, the close of discovery. And then the first trials should be happening in March of 2024. And at that point, there might be some opportunities for settlement. So it's a slow moving process, but we're getting closer. A mediator has been appointed. Discovery in the Bellwether trials is soon to conclude. And there may be more information to report uh, later on. So if you have one of these cases, uh, give us a call. We can help. Watch our first video on the intake criteria. It's an old video, but as I say, the information is still good. Okay, that is the March 2023 update for Paragard litigation. I hope it's been helpful. Give us a call if we can help.